At the beginning of the course, we will deal with system set settings that apply to finance and accounting. I will tell you about the general ledger setups, receivables and payables ledger setups. You will also learn how and where to set up posting groups in the system. On few examples, we will trace the operations with them. We will start with general ledger setup were set up related to accounting in in the in the entire system can be found. So let's type general ledger setup. We will start from general tab. Here you can find allow posting from and allow post posting to. In these two fields we set the allowed dates of postings in the system. So the posting date on the document is checked against those two dates. If it exceeds the established range, the system will display an error in, in the posting process. If these fields are blank, the system will not monitor the posting date. In addition, we can set more detailed settings for each user. On the ribbon we find user setup in which we set the allowed dates for each user individually so you can set the user id and in allow posting from and allow posting to you can set the the date range these settings in user setup are stronger than those in general ledger setups for the dates so we can set up lo longer period in general ledger setup here and then put some details for for each user I put, put the date, dates for each user and this can be used for example for two different departments for example we have accounting department that is still working on the month closing but the sales department needs to issue invoices in the in the new month so we can then set for each users allowing them for posting in those those dates register time field allows you to enable the options of registering user working time in the system we can later use some reports to display this information the next field local address format allows you to specify I will display the address information on documents such as sales invoices. We have four options to choose from and we can choose the format to use it on, on the documents. The next field, the contact name in the address so we can choose where our connected contact name will be shown in the company address. Yes, we have three options here. In the value of following fields, we define the rules for rounding documents and amounts. The first is for rounding precision of invoices. 0 0.01 means that the system will not round numbers and leave them as standard currency rounding. For example, in this case, it will use two de decimal places. When we specify one, the system will round up the numbers for the whole numbers. So let's leave it like this. In the next field, we choose the nearest. Then the system will use the standard rounding. So above five will round up up and below five down. Up and down means a reference to the value from the field above, from here, from here. So you should use nearest here. Next, we can set the rounding procedure for local currencies, whether they appear in the system. So again, this means that the system will use two decimal places in the next field, we specify the minimum and maximum decimal places. So with these settings, we can be sure 
that we will use only two decimal places in, in amounts. The precision of unit amounts in the next two fields so we can define our precision for units so for example when we use some items or resources on sales invoices so this rounding precision will be used here the field allowed gl account deletion before means that system will allow you to delete the account even if it has entries but these entries has to be done in closed periods so before these dates the system will will allow you to delete this account check gl account usage allows you to additionally secure accounts that participate in system settings for example in general posting setup the system will give us an error when we want to delete it the option check account usage allows you to additionally secure accounts that participate in system settings for example if the account exists in some posting setup system will give you an error so the next field is just indicating when your currency is in european monetary union in next three fields you will define some description of your local currency so we have code we have some symbols and the description these things will be used in the pages or in the reports payment discount excluding VAT means that the system will calculate payment discounts without VAT adjust for payment discount means that this payment discount will also recalculate the VAT unrealized VAT let the system knows if we want to use this function in the system and also connected with prepayments in the field maximum VAT difference allowed we set the maximum amount by which we can improve the VAT amount when posting purchase or sales document it is about differences in rounding that may appear between two systems the our vendor system and our calculations in the system so we have some some one penny differences between those two amounts this is our maximum that we can set uh, i think five here is is enough in the next we provide the threshold for the amount from which the invoice will receive an additional description tax invoice we also specified VAT rounding type the same we have in here we can also set bank account numbering series in bill to sell to VAT calculation we can decide where the system should take the business VAT posting group whether from the bill to and on the payables pay to number or from sell to and buy from so this setting will tell us about the business posting group print VAT specification in local currency on invoices with currency system will also print our local currency specification use legacy GL entry locking means that the system will block the GL entry tables at the early stage of the posting process if we disable this option the system will decide when to lock the table so we should disable the, this option to improve the, the locking in the system show amounts will show to specify whether the system 
pages will have amounts appear we can change it to amounts only debit credit only and all amounts so system will, will show us all three amounts in dimension tab you can find the dimension definition in the system i will leave it for some time i will back to it in few lessons with dimensions topic with the reporting tab you can find some account schedules defined for balance sheet income statement cash flow and retained earnings so let's open one of them here we have prepared balance with all the accounts and definitions so you can use it or change it to your needs so here you can calculate all the values and use each of those account schedules in application we have application rounding precision this should be left zero because if you choose something it will round up all the applications between two currencies so basically uh, still i'm not encourage you to use two different currencies and apply entries with them because of exchange differences and we have some payment discount discounts tolerance and some settings i will leave it for some time we will back to it when we'll talk about those payment discounts functions in the system